I am the number one ballistic on PC. I have nearly 60,000 ballistic kills, and I'm close to 120,000 lifetime kills. So it's safe to say, I just love killing. And since I started main in Apex in season 11, when I didn't even have 10k kills, these stats have taken some time for me to get. But what if we shrink that time down to one hour? While solo queuing trios, I'm going to challenge myself to see how many kills I can get in one hour. I gave myself five attempts to get the most kills in an hour, and at the end of the video, I will use my big brain to find out my average kill kills per hour and add that up to see how many kills that would lead me to in one day, week, month and year. A lot of people have a misconception of kill grinding that it's 100 plus kills an hour and it's easy and I'm just going to show you that isn't true. And as a side challenge I'm going to choose one legend from each legend class and see if any of them are more efficient for kill grinding. And I bet the answer will surprise you. And don't worry, I do play ballistic so do not stress. With lots of unanswered questions, let's start attempt one. Starting with Pathfinder in the Skirmisher class, I really had no clue how challenging this solo Q trio's gotten to be. I normally play duos when I'm solo, or so far this season mostly solos, so fighting three stacks and dealing with these solo Q struggles was definitely something I underestimated. Great. Bro, are you serious? Dude, Maggie boy.
Well, what do I do? I would like to say at this point that there are lots more amazing games to show, but most were short and sweet, normally getting about 4 to 5 kills and then dying, which for kill grinding really isn't a bad thing. It's unrealistic to expect you or anyone to have massive games multiple times an hour, because often that is not the case. So with that, enjoy some of the kill highlights from this first attempt. Bro, nine. Bro, the PK, the PK, my PK.
plus 32 kills for hour 1, I was a little down on myself about that at first. Not being the start I wanted, but I'm here now with a clear head to tell you that I was stupid for thinking that. I think solo spoilt me for hourly kills, so going into solo queue trios was a big change and a much slower paced game. So honestly, 32 kills in the first hour is actually a great start. And I found Skirmisher to be quite boring, maybe because I chose Pathfinder, the character that's basically a walking fridge. But I had an itch to play him, and that has been thoroughly scratched. But up next was Recon for Attempt 2, and Vantage is one of my favourite legends, so I was really excited to grind some kills on her.
nice. I don't know why my bones are going off. GG's. Oh, that's actually a good game. Let's go. Nice little 10. That's what we need. With an amazing start to attempt two, feeling like I was going to be in for a 40 plus hour session, I was met with probably my worst attempt of the whole video. Starting off with some nice shots in the game right after the win, I unfortunately met my maker in the form of a default wraith, and I had a little bit too much faith that my teammate would be able to clutch up against this wraith, and wasted a good few minutes watching that fight unfold, which I probably shouldn't have, and I probably should have backed out. And the game after that was no better, with two kills secured, I fumbled my vantage tactical, completely forgetting to recall the bat after the last use, and doing this instead in front of the whole enemy team. And then after that, taking some nice angles and doing some good damage but only securing one of those kills, I moved to an entirely different POI and either my internet or the Apex servers decided to punish me some more and this is what I had to deal with. This lag is unreal. Wanting this run to be completely over with, I did have a little bit of luck in the next game, which was a nice break from the constant dying.
Nice. Seven. God, trails really is uh on trails is really rough today. Holy. While that wasn't a lot of kills, it was a nice break. But then after that, it was back to being shot in the back simulator. And then we had reached our hour mark. Vantage is one of my favourite legends, and I felt like I really didn't get to show that in this attempt. With six less kills than the previous hour, we ended on 26 kills in attempt two, which actually surprised me when I realised. This all brings us to attempt three, where we move to the controller class, where we pick up Caustic, because Caustic admittedly is a guilty pleasure legend of mine. With some mid games to start, I was blessed with a good lifeline random and we dominated some teams as a duo.
Now here is where I unfortunately throw my random put in the chat sorry after dying and it wasn't his fault at all. I didn't want a genuinely good random to feel bad so rather than trying to clutch it or opening my mic I decided to type to my teammate to reassure him all was okay but unfortunately it cost me. In my defense I was trying to be nice but I probably should have just said what I said over mic but it was an incredible start to attempt 3 and the rest of the games was similar to attempt 1 with some off spawn kills and then restarting which for kill grinding really isn't the worst thing. But for some reason despite my aggressive playstyle I was met with a lot of games where I do damage and get absolutely no kills for it. Like this one you're about to see where I think a mix of luck, teammates and a bit of panic on my end really screwed me over. Bro, 700 damage, I didn't get a single kill, dude. Oh my god, my teammates did double damage. But with attempt 3 complete and 28 kills within this hour, this run felt a lot better than attempt 2, but the damage to kill ratio really got me in the end because I felt like it should have been so much higher than what it ended up actually being. If anything, I felt like it could have been a run that could have beat the first attempt. With attempt 1 being the highest so far, next up is attempt 4. And let me tell you, attempt 4 and 5 are some of my absolute favourites of this whole video. I really locked in and had a lot of fun, and we started with the support legend class, and you know I had to choose the silliest of the all Mirage because I just think he is one of the funnest legends to play in the entire game and this hourly run started with a few off spawn kills in caustic treatment. Well, that was an unfortunate way to go because I definitely could have gotten that lifeline kill and had one more kill to the board. This run in general was pretty good. Apart from being on Mirage, which I love, the games themselves actually went pretty well. With a lot of early 5 plus kills, resetting and then going again, which after a few games can really stack up. In one of these types of games, I really showed the power of Mirage.
The no audio bang was definitely not ideal, but like I said, amazing start so far, early kills are the best to get, and this was a trend that kept repeating which I did not mind at all. 5 plus kill early games, and repeating that a few times really added up, so enjoy these highlights.
fucking right on one. God. Now here I definitely overcommit, if I killed this bang any sooner, I reckon I would have lived here but I definitely fumbled, and then told my teammate to craft me if he can, and he did this instead. So I left. And unlike most of this run, the last game definitely wasn't going to let me go without a struggle. Two minutes left so this will be the last game probably, providing I can, if I die I'll try and queue up before the timer hits the hour mark because that's the rule. So let's see what we can do, I'm about to get landed on so. Lock it. No guns. I, I I just I just don't get a gun in my whole building. I mean I am truly unlucky, there isn't a single weapon. What? So many enemies. Fuck. <laughs> I just can't play. Fuck. Literally, we fight the fuck but that one go. Shit, I'm dead, I'm dead. I got no heal. Yeah, I still heal. Run away, guys. Try to run away. Now, here's where I'm going to end this game. You do not need to see how I die. I don't really know what to say about that. This run was a lot more like it. With plus 37 kills, beating attempt 1, Mirage and the support class in general comes out on top. Next up is attempt 5, the final attempt. And already being on high from the previous one, and the fact that we get to move to the assault legend class, and not just pick any assault legend, we are playing my main ballistic, I was on such a high that I was ready to smash this last run.
Not fucking knew it. Unfortunately, I didn't pay attention to the guy below me just shooting, and this resulted in me landing in between a duo of a Pathfinder Revenant and ultimately dying. But nonetheless, that was still a good game, and feeling right at home on Ballistic, it wasn't long till we had a full banger game. And even better, me and my random cracked conduit duoed the entire lobby.
Shout out to this conduit, dude. 15 kills. Let's go. I definitely took a few from teammate. I'm very sorry, teammate. If you're seeing this, Mitsu, I appreciate you, dude. And now we move on to the last game of this challenge. Feeling good. I was aiming for 40 kills this hour. And while I may fall short, what I got instead was a nice ballistic clip and a very interesting Valkyrie teammate. Our teammates crafting. There is no. Bro. Please, teammate. Wait. Wait. Link win this is. I've seen Link win these. Oh my god, Link win these. Yes, come on, Link. Oh my god, Link wins those. And while Link did indeed win those, that wasn't the last of the trouble that he caused me. As we moved over to Estates and we were trying to third party, I got pushed by a full three man and tried to alert him through pings, and not once throughout the entire altercation did he come down off height. And on the fact that I've been playing for about five hours at this point, I kinda lost my mind. Oh my god, I like spam pinged and everything for t teammate to come over and he just didn't. Oh, come on, Link. He, he, had, his, he had his moment. Bro, if he was with me, with with the game like that, bro, we could have we easily killed these guys. I'm telling you. I've yet to get a kill. He is not- he is not dropping a master's badge. I wanna get my stuff, but I can't. Where is, bro, right, I was gonna say chat as if I'm streaming, I'm not streaming, but guys, tell me there's not a more strange random you've ever seen. Bad aim. And the final act of Link was landing a bit away from me, but he ends up shooting a team very close to me, so when I go over to help, he decided then to backtrack and go fight some team that was behind, and I just didn't know what to do.
What is like? Do I help my teammate? What do I? I don't know what to do. I don't know what. To, I, do, I do not know what to do. I do not. I do not. I do not know what to do. I do not know what to do, bro. He has put himself in the middle of everybody when the entire game he has done the furthest thing from. Like, what do I- With that mental ending, we close off attempt 5 with plus 36 kills. Surprisingly, Ballistic being the second for most hourly kills, and Mirage taking the throne. I think this means I have to be a Mirage main now. But let's do some math. I'm going to be breaking down what my average hourly kills could end up looking like if I stayed consistent. So using all five attempts, we can see my average kills per hour is 31. In a day, if I grind six hours, that is 186 kills. If I grind eight hours, that's 248 kills. And if I grind 10 hours, that's 310 kills a day. Now, if we use six hours as a realistic base, that means in a week, I will get 1,302 kills Per week. That is 5,208 kills per month, and if I was mega consistent over an entire year, that would result in 62,496 kills a year. I think this shows how, when you look at kill grinding on a large scale, you can really see how consistency can really add up. 31 kills in an hour doesn't sound like a whole lot, but doing that consistently can eventually lead to over 60,000 kills a year. I hope you found that interesting, I know I sure did, and this is also in solo queue trios as well. If I was in solos, duos, or god forbid 3 stacked, it would be even higher. But if you are still here watching, I really really appreciate you, it really means a lot, and without wasting any more of your time, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.